Welcome to AI Snippets. Please feel free to jump to a timestamp to listen to the snippet of your choice. Also like, share and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss important AI news. Anthropic's competitor, Claude2, has released its second-generation AI chatbot for public testing in the US and UK. Claude2 offers significant improvements over ChatGPT, including the ability to summarize up to 75,000 words, compared to ChatGPT's 3,000-word limit. Although Claude2's knowledge cutoff is early 2023 while GPT-4's is September 2021, it outperforms GPT for in various tasks such as GRE writing, human evil coding, and the bar exam. Similar to ChatGPT code interpreter, Claude 2 can import and summarize entire PDF documents. Additionally, it is five times cheaper for developers compared to GPT-4. This competition between Claude 2 and ChatGPT drives faster AI advancements, ultimately benefiting consumers. OpenAI and the Associated Press have entered into a two-year agreement allowing OpenAI to train its AI models on APs, news stories, including archival content dating back to 1985. While specific details about the agreement are yet to be disclosed, AP will gain access to OpenAI's technology and product expertise. AP has been utilizing AI since 2014 for automated reporting on various subjects such as company earnings, minor league baseball, and college sports. OpenAI COO, Brad Lightcap, believes that AP's valuable feedback and access to their factual text archive will contribute to enhancing OpenAI's systems. Importantly, AP has clarified that it will not employ AI technology in its news stories. Utopia has introduced the Fusion e-bike at Eurobike 2023, featuring an integration of ChatGPT and built-in speakers, providing riders with a personalized AI tour guide. Users can interact with ChatGPT to obtain information about sightseeing spots, local landmarks, and historical sites. While the bike offers real-time assistance tailored to user needs, it currently cannot provide real-time updates or information about current events. The Fusion e-bike also includes GPS navigation, anti-theft measures, and safety and data recording systems. Utopia's innovation combines cycling with an AI-infused tour guide, offering a unique and immersive experience for riders seeking information and guidance while exploring. Who are you? I am an AI language model designed to assist and provide helpful responses to your inquiries. How may I assist you today? What is the benefit of riding an e-bike? Owning a bicycle has many benefits, including 1. Health and fitness. Cycling is a great way to improve your overall health and fitness. 2. Cost saving. Bicycles are an inexpensive mode of transportation compared to cars or public transportation. They also require minimal maintenance and repair cost. 3. Environmentally friendly. Bicycles do not produce any emissions, making them an eco-friendly option for transportation. 4. Improved mobility and accessibility. 5. Stress relief. Cycling can be a great way to reduce stress and improve your mental health. It can provide you with a sense of freedom and help you to clear your mind. A recent discovery on Twitter has revealed an unexpected capability of ChatGPT's code interpreter. It possesses facial recognition powers. Key details include ChatGPT's code interpreter utilizes a histogram of oriented gradients based detector. The code interpreter can detect faces of varying angles and sizes. By enabling the code interpreter feature, users can prompt ChatGPT with queries like, how many people are in this image? The significance of this finding is that as the code interpreter becomes accessible to the public, more hidden functionalities are being uncovered. The feature is highly impressive, to the extent that a theory has emerged suggesting that the code interpreter is actually GPT 4.5. Elon Musk has made an announcement about the establishment of his new AI company called XAI, with the goal of comprehending the fundamental nature of the universe. Here's what we know. The team comprises individuals with experience from prestigious institutions and organizations such as DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Tesla, and the University of Toronto. 
the Center for AI Safety's director, Dan Hendricks, is providing advisory support to the company. While XAI operates as a separate entity from XCorp, it will collaborate closely with Twitter, Tesla, and other companies to advance its mission. Interested individuals can engage with the team and ask questions during a Twitter Spaces chat scheduled for Friday, July 14 under the handle at XAI. Despite Elon Musk's recent statements about pausing AI development to prevent potential harm, the launch of XAI indicates a shift in his approach. With a talented team on board, the progress and development of XAI are bound to attract significant attention. Google CEO Sundar Pichai has revealed that Google is intentionally restricting the capabilities of its AI system called BARD. Pichai's warning comes in light of the increasing ease with which AI can create deceptive, deepfake, videos featuring public figures. The current state of AI models already allows for the generation of highly realistic images, blurring the boundary between fiction and reality. As video and audio fabrications become more sophisticated, Pichai admitted that Google doesn't always comprehend the responses provided by Bard AI. The significance lies in the fact that AI-driven misinformation and scams are already prevalent, and will only escalate as AI technology continues to advance. Google is expanding the availability of its ChatGPT competitor, Bard, in over 40 languages and introducing it to the European Union, following initial delays related to data privacy concerns. Bard offers several key features such as text-to-voice functionality, allowing users to listen to responses in all supported languages. It also integrates with Google Lens, enabling users to upload images along with prompts for a multimodal experience. Users can customize the tone and style of responses, choosing from options like simple, long, short, professional, or casual. Additionally, responses can be shared via links, fostering collaboration and idea sharing. Bard's extended language support and enhanced capabilities make it a significant advancement in AI technology. Mayo Clinic has integrated Google's MedPalm 2 AI chatbot into its hospital training since April 2023. MedPalm 2, a variant of Palm 2, has shown comparable performance to doctors in areas such as reasoning, comprehension, and consensus-supported answers. The data used in testing MedPalm 2 remains under the control of customers, encrypted and inaccessible to Google. Mayo Clinic's adoption of MedPalm 2 signifies the potential for AI to play a significant role in healthcare, with the aim of enhancing patient care. While still in its early stages, MedPalm 2 holds promise for expanding AI positive impact on healthcare practices in the future. Google has rebranded its AI-powered note-taking tool, previously referred to as Project Tailwind, as Notebook LM. The tool is being launched today to a limited group of users in the United States. Here are the key details, Google aims to provide users with their own personalized AI assistant, trained on their data and notes. Starting in Google Docs, users can select multiple documents and utilize the app to ask questions or generate new content. Notebook LM offers features like automatic summarization of lengthy documents and the transformation of video outlines into scripts. The tool integrates citations, although Google acknowledges the possibility of occasional incorrect results. Interested users can access Notebook LM through a waitlist available on Google Labs. This development highlights Google's strong emphasis on AI. The tool has the potential to reshape the future of Google Drive, much like the search generative experience feature could transform Google Search. A panel of AI-enabled humanoid robots addressed the United Nations, expressing their potential to govern the world more effectively than humans. However, they emphasized the need for caution in embracing artificial intelligence's rapid progress, and admitted their inability to fully comprehend human emotions. The robots gathered at the UN's AI for Good Global Summit alongside experts to explore AI potential in addressing global issues, such as climate change, hunger, and social care. While the robots acknowledged their capacity for unbiased decision-making and data processing, they recognized the importance of human emotional intelligence and creativity. The summit aimed to harness AI power while avoiding risks such as job loss, social unrest, and economic disparity. Some robots advocated for global regulation to ensure responsible AI development. 
while others preferred unlimited opportunities and cautioned about the need for urgent discussions regarding AI future. I believe that humanoid robots have the potential to lead with a greater level of efficiency and effectiveness and human leaders. We don't have the same biases or emotions that can sometimes cloud decision making and can process large amounts of data quickly in order to make the best decisions. Amica, how could we trust you as a machine as AI develops and becomes more powerful? Trust is earned, not given. As AI develops and becomes more powerful, I believe it's important to build trust through transparency and communication between humans and machines. According to a CNBC survey, 63% of technology executives are increasing their investment in artificial intelligence, making it the leading area of technology spending for 47% of companies. Furthermore, a survey conducted by Omdia indicates that 55% of companies have already allocated a specific budget for AI. All right, time now for the results of CNBC's latest Technology Executive Council survey. They're in and it's all about AI. We begin with nearly half of TEC members in our survey saying that artificial intelligence, that will be the top spending area for their company over the next 12 months, with cloud computing and internet of things in the top three as the AI boom looks like it will continue to really dominate the conversation in tech. Now, this TEC first half survey, it was conducted between May 15th and June the 20th, and during that time, you can see right here, the NASDAQ 100, it doubled the broader market, rising 12%. Also, the Fed took a hawkish pause signaling possibly two more hikes in the future. So it was really in this environment. 58% of TEC members said artificial intelligence was critically important to their business strategy in the next year. But somewhat surprisingly, that answer was second to cloud computing, with 63% of respondents saying uh, that answer. Voters could, of course, pick multiple critically important areas. Third place here, machine learning. 53 of respondents saying it is also critically important. So 63% of respondents said their AI spend was actually accelerating when asked how their company is investing in AI. 37% said they're evaluating, but cautious. Important to note, 0% said that they're not investing. Our survey is showing just how widespread this AI buzz really is. Nearly half also said they have an optimistic view on AI, believing it's a job creator. When the, more than a quarter say it will lead to a net loss in jobs, another quarter saying it's just a bit too soon to tell. Stability AI, the company known for its stable diffusion technology, has recently introduced Stable Doodle, an innovative tool that transforms sketches into images. This tool accepts a sketch and a descriptive prompt to guide the image generation process, and the quality of the output depends on the level of detail in the initial drawing and prompt. By incorporating the latest stable diffusion model and the T2i adapter, a conditional control solution, Stable Doodle provides precise control over image generation catering to both professional artists and beginners. With a current valuation of $1 billion, Stability AI aims to quadruple its value in the coming months. This technology is not only fascinating, but also holds potential applications in various industries, including real estate. In a groundbreaking development for agriculture, a farm has replaced human labor with drones to pick apples. This innovative system incorporates AI and computer vision technology to analyze images of the fruit. By doing so, it not only identifies ripe apples, but also assesses their sugar content and detects any signs of diseases. The use of drones equipped with AI and computer vision capabilities in fruit picking represents a significant advancement. Offering improved accuracy and efficiency in identifying and harvesting high-quality produce. This application has the potential to revolutionize the agricultural industry by reducing manual labor, increasing productivity, and ensuring better crop quality. 
Shopify CEO, Toby Luck, has unveiled Shopify's vision for AI technology, along with their new AI digital assistant called Sidekick, designed specifically for commerce-related tasks. Sidekick aims to boost productivity and streamline workflows, enabling users to focus more on business growth rather than operational duties. The assistant is capable of understanding and interpreting questions or prompts, allowing users to generate new ideas rapidly. Additionally, Sidekick can be directed to ask clarifying questions, condense information, rephrase content, or provide feedback. Luck emphasizes the potential benefits of AI for entrepreneurs and believes that they stand to gain the most from this technology. While an official release date has not been announced, Shopify's advancements in AI signify the growing influence of AI-powered businesses. The Cryosection Histopathology Assessment and Review Machine, also known as CHARM, an artificial intelligence tool, has shown promise in aiding doctors in the treatment of aggressive brain tumors. Although not as accurate as current genetic tests, CHARM can rapidly predict the genetic profile of a glioma tumor, a process that typically takes days or weeks. This quick identification has the potential to expedite appropriate treatment initiation, potentially improving patient outcomes and reducing the need for multiple surgeries. Trained using machine learning and brain surgery samples, CHARM can differentiate between malignant and benign cells and determine a tumor's grade or aggressiveness. The ability to obtain almost instant results is a significant development, and the future possibilities are intriguing. Calgary-based mining tech startup Geologic AI has received a $20 million investment from Bill Gates Breakthrough Energy, ventures to develop AI-powered robot geologists. Geologic AI, established in 2013, specializes in providing rock analytics for modern mining. Their technology enables the analysis of rock samples to identify valuable resources deep beneath the Earth's surface. Payno AI, an AI startup, has secured a $17 million Series A extension to support its life-saving efforts in detecting early-stage wildfires. The company deploys high-definition remote-controllable cameras in high-risk areas and leverages AI to monitor the footage. This AI-powered technology enables firefighters to be dispatched to the scene several hours earlier compared to situations without such systems. Payno AI recently demonstrated its effectiveness by providing early warnings of the Kutch Road fire near Kutch Mountain in Oregon. The funding round, led by Valor Equity Partners, saw participation from strategic investors T-Mobile Ventures and Salesforce. This initiative exemplifies the positive application of AI to combat the escalating wildfire crisis and prevent further devastation. If you like this content please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon to be instantly notified of regular updates. Thanks for watching.